And we've been joined by UCF coach George O'Leary. Uh, the Knights are 7-3 and three overall, 5-1 and one in the Eight American Athletic Conference. 8-3. 8-3 and three overall, correct. 6-1 and one in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, UCF was in action this past Friday against USF. Uh, UCF won the game 16-0. to zero. Uh, Up next for the Knights will be Thursday at East Carolina, uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. Uh, thanks for joining us, Coach, and for correcting my, uh, my faulty math there. We That's all right. Have to take a minute to tie up the game against USF, and uh, we expect to see uh, as you play uh, East Carolina for a, a piece of the championship. Well, I thought uh, you know USF game was a, a game we played you know consistent in all three phases: offense, defense, and the kicking game. And you know we made some plays when we had to make them. Uh, you know as far as defensively and offensively, you know, I think the first half was a little bit inconsistent as far as running pass. I thought we picked it up in the second half as far as sustaining the ball and and keeping ball control on people, which, you know, I think is important. But And then I thought defensively made some plays when we had to make it in the game, and uh, I think that was really the key of the game uh, as far as uh, USF was concerned. And as far as East Carolina, I think, you know, just watching them on tape, uh, you know, they're a very good football team. Uh, quarterback's outstanding, and uh, they obviously have a number of receivers that can catch it and get yak after it. So uh, they cause a lot of problems. They have a running backs that can – that can you know squirt through you know holes and do some things there. So uh, they're very well coached and a good football team. And uh, defensively, they they're very stingy in the run game. And you know they they basically tackle well. And you know I think they their record's eight and three for a reason. I think they're a very good football team and you know they're very well coached. With that, open up to any questions. We'll take questions for Coach O'Leary, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. Dan Totoro of Dan Totoro Broadcast Media. Hey, Coach, how you doing this morning? I'm going fine, Dan. Oh, this afternoon, pardon me. Um, yeah. Wanted to <laughs> wanted to go in a little bit here, too. I, I know you spoke on ECU, the team itself, but on Ruffin McNeil, and he said a little bit earlier when I had talked to him uh, of the respect of what you've done building from the ground up and just what you've been able to see from him and your relationship with Ruffin over time, what you can say about that. Well, I think Ruffin's, uh, you know, he's an old style coach. He's very, he's very good on the sideline. His kids, you see there's well respect there as far as he's concerned from his players. And, and they, and most teams take on the personality of their coach. And I, I think that team has, uh, I think they're playing very good defense and, from Ruffin's days as a coordinator, and I think offensively they have that the key ingredients that quarterback, and and uh, he's very good. He doesn't miss many reads. He basically gets rid of the ball quick, and and uh, again he has some terrific receivers to throw to. So they they put a lot of points on the board. And they put a lot of yards on the field because of of the personnel. And, they, they, and again, as a head coach, you know Ruffin has him in the right scheme offensively and. Defensively, they're they're tough to throw and run on. So I mean, you, you you gotta pick your poison when you when you're attacking them on defense and uh, and as far as defense and their offense, you, you gotta make plays. That's what the name of the game is. And then as far as what you what you've come off of with the game that you had against South Florida, establishing rivalries and and obviously this is one that's established. You've talked about UConn having a North South. Do you feel that? That's essential to growing the American Athletic Conference is, is having your rivalries that are already etched in stone as well as building some new ones, knowing that this conference is young and it's continuing to grow. Well, I think you got to – most conferences, if you're in state like Mississippi, Mississippi State, you know, that are in the conference, they're natural rivals. But I think the more you can do that, I think the better the conference will be. And I, I treat everybody as a rival. That's <laughs> how so I look at it. I, <laughs> I think that's how you have to look at it. You got, you got basically twelve one-game seasons, and each game is a, a big game. And I, I think don't don't worry about two games. Worry about the next game. And I think that's what's important. But every game is to be that way. We just have a natural rival uh, in state because one the distance locale, and I, I think basically it's uh, a natural rival. Where others, when you have to play someone you're comparing to out of state as a rival, I think that's a little tougher. But and I think there'll be some natural rivals just dictated just by as as the league plays more and more football from a tradition standpoint. Thanks, George. I appreciate it. Okay, no problem.
And do you have any other questions for Coach O'Leary today? Star one on your telephone, if so. Coach, thank you for your time, not only for today, but also uh, all year long, and wish you the best going forward. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it.